Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be uh, messing around with uh, Facebook like buttons, uh, similar to one right here uh, on a uh, just a kind of pet website I've been doing with a couple of friends, just New England Ghost Hunters. Uh, as you see, we already have one place there. Actually, we also have a Twitter button down here as well. Uh, but mainly, we're going to be focused on the uh, Facebook like like button. Um, probably the easiest way to uh, go ahead and start getting the like button is uh, to head over to Facebook. And you want to go over the Facebook developers page. Um, here you'll actually get all the different um, plugins that you can use, like activity feed, comments, FacePal, the like button, um, the stream, or even a login button, really, uh, to add to your website. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on the, uh, the like button. Um, I'm sure many of you have seen these around uh, pretty much all over the, uh, the Internet. Um, just about every website has a like button right now. And, um, you know, yours should too. Uh, so this is this is it right here. All you want to really focus on is uh, step one, and it's just this little gray box here um, has all the parameters that you could be using um, for the um, the like button, and then you have the uh, the preview right here. Uh, so let's just dive right into the uh, the actual parameters and see what they actually do. So the first one here is URL to like. Um, this is the actual uh, place where you want to actually have the um, the person when they click goes to. So um, I just happen to have the New England Ghost Hunters Facebook page up right now. Uh, so all you got to do is just highlight the URL. That's the uh, address bar up here. You want to grab the whole thing and copy and paste it. So you want to do control C. And when you go into here, you want to do control V and add that in there. Um, once that's in there, uh, you're actually going to start seeing... Um, Actually, let me put this to the uh, the standard. You will see the the button kind of look like this. So um, yours might look a little bit different. Like right now, since I'm logged into Facebook, it actually shows my name here with the 69 others that like this. Um, and then sometimes you actually might have pictures of the people that also like this as well. Uh, so this is generally how it's going to look at starting. We can actually customize this. Um, so... Just going down the list, I'm going to go very quick here. Uh, the send button, toggle that on and off. As you see, it just turns off that send button there. Um, really under your discretion as far as what you want to do with it. Um, and then you got the layout style, the standard button count or box count. Uh, generally, I like the, the button count. Um, it makes it very, very slimmed down. Um, it's very easy on the eyes, especially when, when it's on your website. You want to make the focal point of your website your actual content and not just the like button. So having a huge, large box, in my opinion, is just kind of outrageous. Um, so I'm just going to stick with this the, the button count right now. I'll actually show you what the box count looks like, too. And that's just a kind of like a vertical look with a much larger uh, count box. So I'm just going to do the button count. And then um, next one is width. Uh, this pretty much doesn't really affect the button too much um, especially in our small form factor like this um, like generally let's let's go down to 200 here if you have a lot of content there if you do like the standard button it will affect it uh, actually I'll show you at 150 uh, or not <laughs> 100 ah there we go so if you actually see if it if the box if the width of the box is too small and you get overlap in content like this and you don't want that. Um, so let's actually get rid of that. Let's go back to 200 here. And all right, let's leave it at that. Oh, let's go back to a button count. So generally what the width is, is the actual um, size of the box that this button is going to be placed in. Um, so the actual size of the button itself is probably only about 50 pixels. Um, generally, you want to go a little bit larger than that. And this is really has to focus on um, if you're putting this inside of a table. If you have a table that has a cell that's, um, you know, 500, 500 uh, pixels wide, you don't want to exceed that 500. So this is something you would actually shrink down to fit inside of a inside of a table or inside of a, a you know a marked area that you already have. Um, all right. So going down to show faces, um, that is just the uh, the icons of the people on there. Um, verb to display only gives you two options, like or recommend. Uh, generally, I would stick with like as most people understand what the actual like button is. Um, and it's at the actual name of the button, too. Color scheme, um, really, it's just preference. Go with uh, whatever whatever works for your website. Um, and then the same thing with the font. 
Uh, generally, I choose Tahoma just because that's usually what I code my sites in. Uh, and once you have that all set and you like the preview of the way it looks and everything, uh, go ahead and get the code. And this is the actual code right here. Once you have this code, um, you want to highlight everything, and then you want to copy and paste this into your website. Now, it could be wherever you want on the site. Um, generally, the, um, the div tag will go wherever wherever you decide to put it. So if it's in a, uh, in a table, if you put it in the cell, it'll actually go with that table. Even if you resize the table, it'll still stick inside that cell without actually moving around. Um, so all you have to do is just copy and paste this Control-C and then Control-V on your website. And once you have it on there, uh, it's going to look very similar to this. I have a like button like that. And I can actually even... Uh, I'll show you the, the source code if, uh, if I can find it in here. And yep, it's right here. This is the uh, the like button right here. And um, you actually see there's the uh, the frame going across. That's this big long line here. This is all the Facebook. That's all that script. And then see show faces false and action like. So there's all your parameters right there. And uh, you can actually even go in and, and change this um, these parameters yourself without actually having to go back to the uh, the Facebook plugin box and um, and redo all the plugins again. Um, so generally that's it. It's just a matter of getting the button, getting the code, and then just dropping it in your place there. Um, so I hope you enjoy this tutorial.